Today we are covering the Wavelink USB-C to HDMI dual display adapter. This adapter allows any USB-C DP capable device to output to two HDMI signals. Um, what you see here is my Galaxy S21 running Samsung DeX going to this Wavelink adapter. And you can see I have uh, two HDMI connections here. One is through an articulating dongle with HDMI mail-to-mail -mail connection to the X-Real adapter. The other one is just a straight short six inch HDMI cable to the another X-Real adapter and then to the, my glasses that you see here. So let's put this sideways, but what you'll see is um, Ragnarok uh, in Netflix. Uh, this is... Um, an S21, so you're getting the full DEX resolution, like the full maximum area of what the OLEDs in the X-Real Air can actually display you there. So this is working great. Um, no issues with Netflix full screen in DEX. That's the X-Real number one. You can see here, X-Real 2, also fully functional. This is full um, sound and uh, and video that you see here, and working great as well. So this setup um, doesn't require anything since both glasses are powered by the battery. What's great about this is, unlike an iPhone, the screen is off while Dex is running. And if you click it, you can turn it back into um, mouse mode there but for the most part it's off so if you look at the screen area of the s21 and you compare it to the oleds you can fit four of these tiny little oleds that you see here in the area of the s21 and technically i think this would maybe drive uh, more power than what the oleds even though you have two i could be wrong on that but uh, possibly similar in power, which is great because, um, you know, the screen turns off. If that was, wasn't the case, then you'd probably have a much faster battery drain. But, uh, yeah, so this is working good. Um, you can also, and I tested this, you can also connect the Vitter charge and play adapter, and I'm pretty sure the Red Magic would as well, but I did test the v v Vitter, and it does provide power, um, external power via battery bank or um, you know, a power uh, char charging brick if you decide to. Uh, the vitters do work if you want to use that. So, um, yeah, this is probably the best setup. Um, I have uh, two X-Real cables coming in. Um, I don't know if it is going to require power, but um, seeing how this setup is and seeing how you know, HDMI works from other devices. It's possibly that it, it's possible that it still needs the uh, power, but hopefully, um, the Xreal uh, HDMI to C cables will work. I got those coming next week. Um, if they if they work, I'll make another video. If they don't, uh, this is probably the best that we have for now as far as compact setups go. Um, I do have HDMI to C dongles um, that I have like the GoFanko and the Elebase, but those require um, an additional um, micro USB uh, connection for power, which would make the setup a little bit more clunky. So I figured even though these are, these are battery based, uh, it's much more cleaner, right? And uh, so if you're on the go with a friend, uh, you know, you wanna play uh, some games or you wanna watch some, uh, you know, movies through the S21, you can totally do so uh, with this setup here. This is probably the most compact and um, portable setup uh, currently. And this adapter is only $26, uh, which is awesome. I mean, you know, you can't really beat that. Um, this is probably going to um, sell out pretty fast. So um, make sure you go grab it and link below. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them in the section below. Thanks.